to him, uh, a living hell every single day, go through that pain. A San Diego stylist beginning a long road to recovery two weeks after a deadly gas explosion at an apartment building in Tijuana. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us, loved ones tonight are demanding answers. In the moments after the massive explosion, Andy Trin received a frantic call. His voice was in complete shock. He was terrified. From his brother, Tommy. He told me that he's on, uh, caught on fire. He's in explosion. He's burned. Chilling words amid the chaos. Andy says his 49-year-old brother, Tommy, a longtime stylist in San Diego, had just moved into a third-floor apartment in central Tijuana, possibly to help cut down expenses. A friend from San Diego was there helping him move. My brother was turning on the knob to the stove and that's when the explosion happened. That explosion damaged dozens of homes and cars. One woman was killed while Tommy and his friends suffered burn injuries. He didn't know how he got out of the building. He felt like it wasn't his time to die yet. And so with all his strength, he fought his way out of the building. Tommy taken by ambulance to San Diego and UCSD Medical Center. Tommy was left with second degree burns on over 31% of his body. To him, uh, living hell every single day, to go through that pain. Tommy has undergone one surgery, and he says his brother's road to recovery will be a long one. As loved ones tend to Tommy. <sighs> There's no words to explain these emotions. They are calling on Tijuana officials to conduct a thorough investigation. We want answers to what happened that night and for just to be served. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. And Tijuana fire officials told our partners Televisa that a poorly fitted gas pipe may be to blame. Tommy's friend remains hospitalized, but his condition is not known.